Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. We got to talk about this Christian Walker, Herschel Walker situation. Honey. The girls are fighting, honey, in the Republican Party. We got to hit on this. Now, Christian Walker, I know I've drug him a few times. You know, I call him the bootleg Arnez because he reminds me of Arnez um, from that show. Um, I forgot what the name of the show with Kyla Pratt, child. And, um, but Christian is funny. You know, I, I, I follow him on Instagram. He pops up every now and then. He's a light-skinned gay guy. He's gay and he's a Republican child. All he do is drag people at Starbucks. He cussed out Kalani one day, drug the hell out of Kalani. He's a mess. One-on-one, -on -one, thank y'all. One-on-one, that's the show. He looks like Arnez from One-on-One. -on -one. So he be going off. He goes off about everything. He's a really privileged gay man. He don't like pride. He don't like anything. He be cracking me up. But um, he's been going through it. The daddy... Herschel Walker, the football player, he's a, he was a football player. He's running, um, he's running for, I believe, governor in uh, Georgia. And all his skeletons have been coming out the closet. And so Christian went off the other day on Instagram. He had enough. He went off. I've never seen him this upset. Only when he's talking about liberals. Because <laughs> he loves to drag liberals, honey. But you could tell he was very, very hurt. I've never seen him this hurt. It was sad. My heart went out to him. And this is why I say fathers in the household are important. Y'all keep saying that, oh, I'm being harsh on, you know, dickless cannon. But this is why fathers are important. And you cannot be everywhere at once. Okay? So, no, I'm never going to support a man being reckless with his peen and creating single family home after single family home. Women never get that grace. If a woman's out here with five kids by five different men, people drag her. She's a slut. She's an idiot, even though all her kids live in one house. So to me, he had the same energy for men who do the same thing. So Herschel Walker, who wants to tell everybody else about what they need to do in life, I guess he's a deadbeat baby daddy too. So this is his son, Christian. He's a gay cheerleader. That is Herschel Walker, the football player. This is Christian when he was younger. He has on his cheerleading uniform. I stayed silent as the atrocities committed against my mom were downplayed. I stayed silent when it came out that my father, Herschel Walker, had all these random kids across the country, none of whom he raised. And you know my favorite issue to talk about is father absence. Surprise, because it affected me. That's why I talk about it all the time, because it affected me. Family values, people. He has four kids, four different women, wasn't in the house raising one of them. He was out having sex with other women. Do you care about family values? I was silent lie after lie after lie. The abortion card drops yesterday. It's literally his handwriting in the card. They say they have receipts, whatever. He gets on Twitter. He lies about it. Okay, I'm done. Done. Everything has been a lie. And so for the right to say I'm being suspicious for saying, hey, I'm, I'm done with the lies, when you all have been calling me saying, is this true about your dad? Gosh, we're not going to win Georgia, this candidate all. That's been you. You have no idea what I've been through in my life. You have no idea what me... I stayed silent as the my mom have survived. We could have ended this on day one. We haven't. I haven't told any stories. I'm just saying don't lie. Don't lie on my mom. Don't lie on me. Don't lie on the lives you've destroyed and act like you're some moral family man. Y'all should care about that, conservatives. And then for people on the left to act as though I'm responsible for all of the things that he has done. I've talked about father I've, I've talked about these issues because they've been close to me. Because they matter to me, because I went through it. That's why I've talked about it. So when you say, well, talk about your dad, I am. I'm saying this behavior is atrocious. Don't come for me. You don't have to like my father. You don't have to like me. You don't have to. I'm just saying I'm done with the lies. We were told at the beginning of this, he was going to get ahead of his past, hold himself accountable, all of these different things, and that would have been fine. Go ahead. He didn't do any of that. 
everything's been a lie, everything's been downplayed, everything's been cutting corners, the whole thing. And who, who is, whose expense is that at? Me, my mom, and my mom have survived. We could have ended this on day one. We haven't. I haven't told any stories. I'm just saying, don't lie. Don't lie on my mom. Don't lie on me. Don't lie on the lives you've destroyed and act like you're some moral family man. Y'all should care about that, conservatives. And then for people on the left to act as though I'm responsible for all of the things that he has done. I've talked about father, I've, I've talked all these issues because they've been close to me, because they matter to me, because I went through it. That's why I've talked about it. So when you say, well, talk about your dad, but I am. I'm saying this behavior is atrocious. Don't come for me. You don't have to like my father. You don't have to like me. You don't have to. I'm just saying I'm done with the lies. We were told at the beginning of this, he was going to get ahead of his past, hold him posted of my dad, thinking they can police and, and determine what my relationship with my dad was. If you want to pull stuff up, I'll pull stuff up. Don't try me. Don't test my authenticity. All of this has been a lie and you've known it. You've known. So don't you dare. And then to the left, who says, well, he did all this to your mom and you were still with him. And, you know, that's weird. You know nothing about my life. My parents went through a dirty divorce. I went through a lot as a child. And, and you don't know anything. You don't know the ebbs and flows of our relationship. Nobody knows anything. So for everyone making these wild theories and whatever, that, that, that's crazy. This is about a bunch of lies. Again, I could, if I had an issue with whatever, I could have ended this stigma. That's not my intention. My intention is don't lie about your life at the expense of me, my mom, and all of the people that you've affected throughout your life. You don't get to pretend you're some moral family guy. You don't get to pretend all these things. Talk policy, talk normal, posted of my dad, thinking they can police and, and, and just two more things I have to address. And then I'm done with this buffoonery nut job land. This is atrocious. People on the right are pulling up that I did a campaign event with my dad last year. They're saying, well, you supported him all last year and all this year. You look suspicious. No, no, you all have been calling me saying, why aren't you on the campaign trail with your dad? Why aren't you helping him out? This looks weird. You should go help him. And I've said to you calmly, I'm not getting involved. You don't know my family life. I did one event last year when we were told he was going to get ahead of his past and hold himself accountable. None of that happened. Everything's been a lie. So for me to tell you I'm not getting involved, and then you also be flooding my DMs and calling me saying, I didn't do all this about your dad, we're gonna lose the center race. And then when I simply say, I'm done with the lies, you go, well, Christian looks suspicious. Excuse me? I haven't told one story about what I experienced with him. I'm just simply saying, don't lie. And then for, for certain political pundits to be pulling up old pictures, I, and just two more things I have to address. Chat, okay. Then he goes on to say, I know my mom and I would really appreciate if my father, Herschel Walker, stopped lying and making a mockery of us. You're not a family man. When you left us to bang a bunch of women, threatened to kill us, and had us move over six times in six months, running from your violence. I don't care about someone who had a bad past. Take accountability. How dare you lie and act as tough and, and acts as though you're some moral Christian upright man. You've lived a life destroying other people's lives. How dare you? <laughs> then he goes on to say, every family member of Herschel Walker asked him not to run for office because we all knew some of his past, every single one. He decided to give us the middle finger and air out all of his dirty laundry in public while simultaneously lying about it. We've been, we haven't, Seen a leader like Governor DeSantis in my lifetime. He's at the Waffle House frying he's at the Waffle House frying hash browns for first responders. He's making sure people's homes are protected from looting. He's providing hurricane relief himself. This man is going to win the re-election by landslide. Child. The girls are fighting. And not all the LGBT people in the chat putting up rainbows and tiny violins. <laughs> Lava Pop had me cracking up. Rainbows and tiny violins. Yes, honey, he is in his feelings. He's upset. But you know what? Honestly, I do feel bad for him. Um, You know, just as a young man, you know, young men, you know, need a good father in their life, need a good father figure in their life, you know, and I just feel like Herschel Walker, for him to be out here preaching all this good Christian stuff and all these, you know, Republican morals and the fact that 
you know, now that he's been running, all his dirty laundry's come out and it's come out that he has not one, but literally like four or five kids outside of wedlock uh, by different women. And then he even tried to get one of the women to get an abortion. And he wrote her a letter telling her to go get an abortion. But this is the same man wagging his fucking Republican finger at people who stand for abortion rights. And like I've told y'all before, I don't care what side of the argument you're on as far as abortion, that is your right to believe in abortion or not believe in abortion. I have no dog in that fight. But I find it very hypocritical that he's so pro and so anti-abortion and pro, you know, he's anti-pro-choice, anti-abortion, but he literally got caught writing his side chick and telling the side chick, I'm not going to take care of your baby that I helped you create. You need to go get an abortion. So let me get this right, Mr. Herschel Walker. So it's okay for you to be out here, you know what I'm saying, raw dog and side chicks and, you know what I'm saying, impregnating people and creating single family homes and then demanding that your side chick get an abortion. But the young girl who finds herself in a similar situation where she's having sex with her boyfriend, she gets pregnant and she's not ready to be a parent. Shame on her. She's not allowed to do the same thing that you're trying to pressure your side chick to do. What, what in the holy hell is going on here? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. If you're going to be anti-abortion, then be anti-abortion. You can't be anti-abortion when it's convenient in the public, but then behind closed doors, you don't believe in condoms either. You, you got to pick a side, sir. Either you strap up and you wear a condom, okay, or you're for abortion. It, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I just think that this is just insane. Like, all his shit done spilled. If y'all vote for him in Georgia, y'all deserve what y'all get. I really hope that after hearing his son drag him, y'all do not vote for this man. He has serious issues. And I do believe that Ron DeSantis will win. I do believe that. Um, let's see here. Now, Herschel Walker did reply back to his son. Let me show y'all this real quick. Herschel says, I love my son, no matter what. <laughs> Christian replies back and says, you have four kids that we know of, and you weren't in the house raising one of them. You were out cheating and lying. If you loved your kids, you'd be raising them instead of running the Senate race to boost your ego. <laughs> I love the fact that he's actually dragging <laughs> somebody from his own party because child, he loves to drag the liberals, honey. So I, I'm here for I'm here for all this, you know what I'm saying? Angry, <laughs> angry Republican tea. I'm here for it because he, he's good at dragging the liberals. I be here when he drags the liberals, so I be laughing and shit. So it feels good to see him dragging the Republicans, honey. He is mad at his daddy. He said he don't want no parts. So I don't not find everything. Somebody called him little Don Lemon. <laughs> not little baby Don Lemon. <laughs> Y'all are. <laughs> Christian is big mad, but I agree with him. I don't think his father, you know, is morally adapt to run for Senate. I just don't think so. Or governor, whatever he's trying to run for. I don't think he needs to run. I think that, you know, his past is caught up to him and he needs to have several seats. And the fact that he tries to be the moral authority for everybody else, and yet he hasn't raised any of these children. Imagine you're minding your own business. You don't know who your daddy is because your mama, you know what I'm saying, was a side chick and she don't want to tell you. So imagine you're on Twitter. You're probably cussing out Christian because Christian be going back and forth with everybody, honey. And then imagine you've been dragging Christian for months because you're a liberal. And then come to find out your real daddy is Herschel Walker. Imagine how many people right now on Twitter are shocked that they're related to Christian. <laughs> Some of y'all in this damn chat could be Herschel Walker's kid. <laughs> Imagine how many people are shocked right now. They had no idea this was their daddy until all this mess came out. Oh, it's a mess. Mm -mm -mm, you can't make this if shit. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.